the glory of God. Yeah. You said we all serve the same yeah. God. Yeah. Same singular. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. But then you'll fight me down yeah. if I say God is one. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> So I'm so grateful, amen, to know, hallelujah, that he is one, and I rejoice in that because it shows me how great he really is, that he doesn't need anyone beside himself to do what it is that he does. He doesn't even have to move to be called. all things by the word of his power. The very worlds were framed by his word. All he has to do is speak. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're asking him to come here and to go there. He's already there. And then in action, all he does is speak and there's action. He speaks and there's movement. He speaks and there's results. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to remind yourself, even when you're challenged by your challenges in your everyday life, remember because no matter how long you've been saved, the greater the challenge, amen, the greater the challenge of your knowledge of God will be. Hallelujah. Sometimes your faith just don't kick in. I was at true people. Sometimes your faith don't always kick in right there because it's great. It's overwhelming. Hallelujah. And it's plus if you're stuck in it for some time. Hallelujah. You really. I, I had to. I said, wait a minute. I said, now I hope that I have been all these years, Amen, in this thing, and it ain't real. Because I've been in here most of my life. Hallelujah. I know more of this than I know of anything else. And I would hate to have come down all through this time. And it don't be so. Oh, but God reminded me. Hallelujah. He took me on a walk. Hallelujah. Through my life. And then started pointing out this. And said, who is that? And then pointed out that. That. And then when you got in this, who got you out? When you needed this, who provided for you? When you were sitting in the courtroom, how did you get past that? All I could do was say you, Lord. It was you, Lord. It was you. So you question whether I am or not? I am. And I encourage you today. Amen. Amen. You have those words and tuck them all down in your heart. heart. And no matter, because we have all kinds of uh, philosophy and we have all kinds of perspectives of theology today that's tearing God apart and tearing his word apart. Glory to God. Amen. You know that statement that we make. Hallelujah. This is the only infallible word of God. Well, this is being attacked now. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we're being told that it's not. Yeah. And we're being told that it's not in error. Uh -huh. That it is fallible and it does have errors. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. By the time you finish with all of these theologies yeah, and philosophies that are going on, yeah. hallelujah, you'd be totally confused. Yeah. I wish I had to come yeah. Yeah. Amen. And then what it does is kind of push you, amen, to develop your own. And you got to be careful of that because your own may not be God's. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God has set forth a pattern for us and a and, and path for us to follow. And he expects us to align ourselves to be our best self. We need to align ourselves with what God has ordained. Hallelujah. And trust his spirit in us. That's yes. why it's so important to have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Trust his spirit in you yes. to order you in the path that you should go. Yes. No matter how confused yes. everybody else is. Yes. Glory to God. 
your path will be sure. Glory to God. I, 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 you know, I've been saying that scripture for years. You know, about the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. And see, I only understood it from one perspective. Amen. To the truth of the word of God. And that's the way I always taught it. That he will guide you into all truth. And the truth, thy word is truth. Is what, what, what Jesus said. Amen. So he guides you in the truth of the word of God. But when there are so many perspectives on that same word. You understand? And then everybody's going to the Greek and the Hebrew. And then one thing I learned, amen, is that when you're looking at Greek lexicons and Hebrew lexicons, I noticed that when you compare lexicons, the interpretations are not even the same. So you can, this this one interpreter sees it this way, and that one interpreter sees it another way. Now when you take everybody seeing it their way, and then you're going to take what's here and then interpret according to what they you can be totally confused so I found that the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth whatever is true that's where he's going to take you so you don't have to worry about what they say over here what they're saying over there how they're tearing this apart over there who wrote King James King James it was a homosexual and King James all of that you, that won't matter to you because you're counting on the Holy Spirit to guide you into what is the truth. Amen. And if you do that, then you cannot be an error. Glory to God. You'll say what you're supposed to say. You'll do what you're supposed to do. And you will not be confused. Today, you need to know what you know. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, I may not be up on that, that. I read, I research, I may study this or study that, etc., to enhance my knowledge, etc. But I know this that no matter what information I get inside of me, the Holy Spirit has me to chew what is meat and spit out what is bone. You understand? So that I can be enhanced where I need to be enhanced. But that which I don't need any part of, that's the part that is refuse to me. It's garbage to me. I don't eat that. Be careful what you're eating. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? Be careful what you're eating. I'm thinking about the brother Emery, how he has this regiment of diet. Amen. And, and you know, not, that I'm not talking about just diet to lose weight, but diet to remain healthy. Oh, amen. This is what you need spiritually mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. You need, amen, a spiritual diet that yeah. keeps you spiritually healthy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And when you know where your source, like he knows specifically what things will give him what, this will give him that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When you know the source of things. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you will stick with the source, yeah. hallelujah, you have the spirit inside of you, yeah. stick yeah. with the yeah. source. Yeah. He'll make sure that you stay on the right path. Yeah. And that which is false and heresy, yeah. hallelujah, false doctrine, yeah. seducing spirits, yeah. he'll make sure that you're steered yeah. away from yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I must sound the alarm yeah. in this end time hour yeah. because so many people are being confused. Yeah. I hear the things on YouTube. I, I listen. I listen. See, some people, I ain't listening to that junk. I ain't listening. Well, see, I listen because I won't know what other people are thinking if I don't listen. I have to pay attention. I'm not gullible. I'm not eating up everything that I hear and see. Oh, come on now. Amen. I know how to look at things objectively. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I listen. I pay attention what they're saying and, and, and trying to listen for their source. Where's their resources coming from? What, 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 there's an origin. You didn't just get here and arrive at Where did you get it from? And now that you're saying it, amen, what validates your saying that that is so? 
as opposed to what I have. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. But I tell you one thing it can't be is your personal experience and relationship with God. Nobody can tell you that didn't happen. Now I need the old saints to stand up and sing you can't make me die. I know too much of Confused, yeah. we didn't know we were ignorant. Well, it seemed like in our ignorance, we live better lives. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on, yeah. live clean lives. Yeah. We were conscious of yeah. God yeah. and we regarded oh. God in our lives. Yeah. We knew how to go out, we knew yeah. how to come in, yeah. and it helped us to mold and change our lives yeah. and bring them yeah. into a sense of yeah. order. And, yeah. and oh, come on, that oh, yeah. He made a difference in our lives. Oh, we wouldn't have been the floozies or this, that. And the other that we could have been, but he changed that. God, in the root of us, hallelujah, and transformed us by his power. Now we can say we're new creations in Christ Jesus. I may not be what I'm going to be, but I'm not what I was. God is real. I said, God is real. Hallelujah. And I want you to hold on to that. Keep that. And look in the face of what is coming against you to say it's not. Hallelujah. Declare them all the more. Hallelujah. The blind men that came to Jesus, they came to him. They, they knew he was nearby. Knew he was in the vicinity because they could hear the crowds of people. And they, they could hear what they were saying. And they began to cry out to the Lord. And they cried out with a loud voice. And they were told to shut up. <laughs> they were told to shut up. Let me tell you something, beloved. In this hour, you're going to be told to shut up. Amen. It's already happening. Thank you, Jesus. You start declaring God, and some don't want you to say anything about God. <laughs> Come on. They, 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 they call him anything else. Don't say God. Don't say Jesus. Amen. They don't want you to do that. Amen. And so, of course, me and my radical self, I say what I say. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I, I, I have freedom of speech. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If they have freedom of speech to say what they're saying, I have freedom of speech to say what I say. And in my freedom of speech, I choose to say Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know which uh, inauguration it was. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was Obama or, the, or this last president. It was in somebody had uh, prayed. It was a, a black bishop. Amen. He prayed. And so when he ended his prayer, he said, In the name of Jesus! Oh, I said, oh. You can see, you can see where faces started. It was, it was like, oh. because you know they're not supposed to, because we don't want to offend, amen, the other belief systems. And what gets me is you go to those other countries, and you, and you have to come in alignment with. Their order of their country and their belief systems. You understand? Or else you're considered a heretic in their country. You don't do that in their country. But now we come over here, amen, and so now, and we have to. And all, all down through the years, amen, all to, from the time the country was founded, amen, it hasn't been that. That been Allah. Right? That wasn't Buddha. That was the word. Oh, come on here. We didn't have all that going on. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So here we are. Here we are now. And now, amen, the minimization of God. And then want him to be taken off of money and be taken off of this. Just take him out. Just take him out. Take him out. We took him out of school. Took him out. Just taking him out. And then not recognizing what is taking place as a result of that action. They don't see that. They just see that agenda. So where is the church now? Church needs to rise up. But I found out that the church can't rise up until they realize that God is real. Because the church is having trouble 
with the reality of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They, they're struggling with whether God is real or not. So how can they stand and contend for something that they themselves have trouble believing? Find ways of modification. Modifying the message, modifying God, changing him. And then if if we're either one extreme or another, either he's the mamsy pamsy God, or over here, he's the God of wrath and judgment. We are people who have all types of different emotions. Come on here. Yeah. Amen. But we learn in life as we go along to walk in balance. Yeah. Amen. There's, there's a time to be angry. Mm -hmm. There's a time to be, oh, come on now. There's time for this and a time for that. Amen. We're not to be walking around angry all the time or else there's an issue that needs to be resolved. Needs to be dealt with. Amen. Amen. And then you have to go lucky all the time. It's not real. Because there's some things that challenge that. Oh, come on. Amen. But you learn in life how to go past. Even when things are not the way that you want them to be, you learn until the time your human weakness catches catches you and you're just unable to. And then God is faithful right there to give you a word or somebody you send giving the word of encouragement. Or sometimes he'll just let you think of something that will encourage yourself. Have I got a witness here? But he does not leave us and he does not forsake us. And he is real. Hallelujah. And he is able, hallelujah, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Nothing is impossible with him. There are things that he'll use us as a part of the process. And then there's times when you say, I got this all by myself. You stand still and you watch me be God in this situation. The psalmist said it this way, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. And that's what he wants us to, to do in this hour is to be still and know he is God. Watch what he does. Watch what he does. He is yet the same God you read about in the scripture. It's not all about what you read in the scripture and then thinking that none of that can happen to you. The miraculous can still happen to you. But all you have to do is just simply believe it. Thank you, Lord. Everything's attached to faith. Hallelujah. And when God sees faith, it moves him. And it prompts him to action. Watch what God does for us. Come on and praise him. Something ahead. Thank you. And watch what he does for you. Thank you, Jesus. thing on your list. Thank you, Jesus. The harder, the thing that you consider to be the hardest thing on your list, that's the thing that God is going for. Thank you, Jesus. Because he is determined that you know your God. Thank you, Jesus. That you see that he is very much real and very much present and ready to act on your behalf. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody hear me say he's ready to act.